Hey, what's up, fam? Welcome back to All Things Tommy Bites TV. So um, if you are new here, welcome in. Thank you for joining us. If you are returning, welcome back. So what's happening now is this company is facing a lot of complaints. They've been found guilty, and now they have to pay up for the things that they were not doing and putting employees at risk as well as putting customers at risk of something happening to them while they are in the store. So let's get into it. And before I do, please give this video a thumbs up, share it out, leave comments. Those things do help the channel grow and get out to more people. Um, with the way YouTube is looking with my channel, they are not pushing my videos at all. It doesn't matter if it's a news story or not. So for those who say, well, you're peddling, fear and you, you doing fear mongering stuff. You're just trying to get the views. Sorry to tell you, the views ain't there with me, but I'm still trying to give you news that you can use in hopes that it will help someone down the road. Um, but y'all let me know what you think about this story at the end of it. And let's get into it. Dollar General yes, Dollar General, has to pay $12 million to settle alleged safety violations, including blocking exits. Let me know if you've been in a Dollar General and that has happened to you or you've seen a Dollar General so fully stocked with stuff to the point where you can barely get through the aisle. Let me know in the comments. So let me make this a little bit bigger. Because your girl eyes, the eyes is lying. I cannot see. There we go. Dollar General agreed to pay $12 million to settle claims that there were unsafe working conditions across its stores, such as block fire exits, in fire extinguishers, and unsafe storage. Aside from paying a healthy penalty, the settlement between the Labor Department's Occupational Safety, OSHA, and Dollar General will ensure the chain and its retail subsidiary, subsidiaries. I'm trying to get the words out. Here we go. This thing keeps popping up. Okay, so they got to make significant workplace changes to safety um, improvements in their stores nationwide. This is not just one store, but this is all 19,000 stores nationwide. This is a Tennessee-based company. They must ensure the abatement of any future violations related to block exits, access to fire extinguishers and electrical panels, as well as improper material storage at its stores during the um, agreement term. The company was given 48 hours to submit proof that it was that it has corrected such hazards. So again, let me know in the comments. Is your local Dollar General blocking the aisles? I know um, Dollar General, Dollar Tree, all of them be like that. So it says, wait a minute. If it fails to correct such actions, the company will face a daily fine of $100,000, not a month, but daily, um, though it could amount to as much as $500,000. It will also face additional OSHA inspection and enforcement actions. Under the agreement, Dollar General will have to prioritize worker safety by implementing significant and systematic changes in its operations to improve accountability and compliance. Y'all forgive me for my stuttering right now. Okay, it's late for me anyway to do a story. It's like 10 something at night and I'm doing a new story for the next day for you guys. <clears throat> so give your girl a like just for that. Okay, among these changes, the company will also be required to develop a safety and health committee and provide safety and health training to both leadership and non-managerial employees. Shouldn't they already do that, though? That should, like, be mandatory. 
It will also have to significantly reduce inventory and increase stocking efficiency to prevent exits from becoming blocked as well as unsafe material storage. I think sometimes though, you know, when they do get supplies in all at once, I think sometimes it's because they haven't been getting, like maybe they missed a delivery. And so, so much comes in at one time and y'all know they short staff. Every Dollar General I have been in is short staff. I don't understand it. So the company is also required to establish an expanded safety structure and a robust safety and health management system, which would include hiring additional safety managers. I mean, you can't even hire cashiers. And now you won't have to hire safety managers. Oh. This why this thing keep doing it. The changes will give employees the input on ensuring their own health and safety, which will give them greater peace of mind. They've probably been complaining and no one's been doing anything about it. And I wouldn't doubt that some of the employees are the reason that they're now having to pay $12 million because they have been reporting them over and over again for work safety issues because you can do that. When you're working a job, you can report unsafe conditions. Dollar General has already retained a third party consultant to identify hazards and analyze um, expertise wide contributing um, factors and third party auditor to perform unannounced compliance audits annually at all covered stores. Y'all, because if they don't have it done, they got to pay $100,000 a day. It also created a new safety operations center to detect store hazards and support safety performances. There's also an um, anonymous hotline for employees. Well, I didn't even read this beforehand and I already knew that. And the public to report safety concerns. So let me know, is your Dollar General safe? And what you think about this $12 million that they now have to pay out? I'm going to tell you what I think. It's late, y'all. Just ignore me for a minute. But listen, listen, Linda. Um, what I think is this twelve million that they have to pay out in fines and possibly a hundred thousand dollars a day if they don't um get up to compliance within forty eight hours of this actual ruling. The prices in Dollar General are about to go up, or we're about to hear about more Dollar General stores closing in order to get that money up and pay that fine. That's what I think is going to happen. It's going to be a lot of people losing their jobs. Losing their jobs. And um, I just did like a bunch of layoffs on my other channel, Mother Truck and Wife. The link is in the description box. Go check that video out. It's like, I, it was like five different companies laying off workers, but I only covered two. And these were two major companies that are laying off a lot of people, y'all, um, in September, in August. So right in time for the cold weather, right in time for the holidays, all these things, people are going to be without a job. So I just want to share this bit of news that hopefully you can use. So hit that like, share it out, leave comments, subscribe to the channel if you have not. And if you're returning, thank you for coming back. I appreciate you. And if you watched any of my car camping videos, I love you. I love all of y'all anyway, but I really love y'all because not a lot of people watch those videos, but it is what I'm doing. And I'm doing all the things over here, which is why I changed the name to All Things Tommy Bites TV. I'm still going to give you news like I'm giving you now, but I'm also going to show you what I'm doing like on a daily or every other day, what I'm doing around here. And that's to release and relax your mind from listening to so many news stories um, that are out here. Some of them not that great. Okay, so y'all take care, keep the peace, 
Be kind to each other in the comments. Be kind to me in the comments. And I love you, but God truly loves you more. He created only one you. So be the very best you that you can be. And when you are, go out and spread God's love. Peace, love, and light. Thanks for being here on All Things Tony Banks TV. And I'll call you. Turn your notifications on because I'm going to post more than one video today.